Hello everyone and welcome to this Python for automation testing series and this is our 15th tutorial and in this particular tutorial we will learn about the operator precedence so let's begin. In Python operator precedence determines the order in which operations are evaluated in an expression. Now what this means? So in most of the cases when we are writing in expressions we will be using a multiple operators. We will be using a multiple operators. Now which operator will have a priority or precedence over the other one. So Python has a complete chart where you can see that which particular operator has a precedence. I will show you that shortly. Uh, but before that, let me show you an practical example over here to understand this more. So let me create one new Python file here and I'm naming it as operator precedence. And now what we need to do is that we will go with the very basic mathematical or arithmetic expression here. So let's make an example. I will say, let's say sum, sum is equals to 2 plus 5 plus 13 into 13. Okay. Now. Here, if you see this particular expression, we have two different operators. One is addition and the other one is the multiplication. Now, there's two possibilities. Either I can add these two. Okay, so let me write it down the two possibilities here. So the first one is that first I will add 2 plus 5, which is 7 and 7 multiplied by 13. Right. And in second case, what I'll say is that 2 plus and here 5 into 30. So this means that in, in the first expression, I'm adding 2 to 5, which gives me 7 and then multiplying 8 to the 30. But in the second case, I'm doing the multiplication first, 5 into 30, and then I'm adding the answer to Two. So both expressions will give me a different answer. So let me open a calculator over here and let me show you. So if I go with the first one, so 2 plus 5, 7 into 13. So that's the 91. So if I go with the first one, it will give me 91 answer. And if I go with the second approach over here, so here first I will multiply 5 into 13, 13 into 5 and then I will add 2 over here. So in this case the answer is 67. Now these two answers are different. Okay. So first let me print this statement over here and see what the answer you will get. Okay. So let me run this one. So the answer is 67. So what happened here? So basically, when we talk about the precedence, the multiplication has the higher priority than the addition as per the Python guide. So this means that it will first multiply 13 into 5, then add 2 to it. Now, if you want to change this precedence or Maybe in your case, you want to do 2 plus 5 first and then you need to multiply it by 3. So you can also do this and you can do simply what you need to do is that put this into brackets. So as per Python, if something is in the small bracket, it has the highest precedence. So this thing will be done first, then it will be added into 13. And now if I run this one. So this time you will get the 90. Okay. Now let me show you another example. But before that, let me go to the browser. I have already opened this into the browser to show you. So this is the Python of official documentation for the Python version 3.12.5. And here you see the operator precedence. Now this table summarizes the operator precedence in Python. From highest means the highest priority, the most binding, and the least or the lowest precedence. Then Python 
operators in the same box so if you see something in the same box here they have the same precedence now you see that the expression written in the brackets in the small brackets or the large brackets or the curly brackets it will have the highest precedence or the highest priority so if your expression is using either of these it will have the highest precedence okay then you have these ones and these ones so here I will I just show you example of arithmetic operation. You see that this multi this static is basically a multiplication. Now multiplication has the highest, not highest basically, is a higher precedence than the addition. So that's why when we didn't use the small brackets, in that case the multiplication happened first, then the addition. But when we use this small brackets, what happened is that now the precedence has been changed and the expression which was having the addition got executed first, then we got multiplication. So this is a complete list. You can go to this documentation, official documentation, and you can see the precedence over here. But before that, um, I, I just need to give you more one more example here to or in order to understand what happens if I use the same operator multiple times okay so let me go to the pajama again and what i'll do is that we know that i will say exponent is equals to 2 static static 3 static static 2 now this statement has two exponents and again here it can be done in two different ways either 2 exponent 3 and whatever the answer we will get then of that answer we will get the exponent of 2 or we can get the exponent of 3 into 2 okay and then whatever the answer we get then we will go with this exponent expression so in, in both case so the answer would be different because it's the exponential expression now whenever you face this situation in python so basically here remember that if this kind of expression or this is applicable for the you know for the assignment operators as well so it will go from left to right from left to right so basically it will go from left to right so it will be evaluated in this way okay it will be evaluated in this way right so if i go here and print this one sorry from not left to right left is uh, this one just let me correct this is basically from right to left sorry right to i was just wondering why actually i was using the mouse and i was showing that we are going from right to left but why i didn't write it in this way so so basically it will go from right to left and similarly it will go for the assignment operators and rest all in all cases in rest all cases it will go from left to right so only for these kind of uh, exponential and assignment operators it will go from right to left i mean the expression will evaluate it from right to left instead of left to right so if i go here and now if i print this one and run this one so you get five one two so how how we got five one two so basically three exponent two so if I write in this way, so basically it give me the exponential of this first, then two exponent whatever we get here. Okay, so if we talk about three exponent two, so it will give me a nine. So let me show you here. So exponent one is equal to three exponent. Two, and if I print this exponent one over here, we'll get nine. So basically, here, if I remove this one, 
so it's 2 exponent 9 okay so if I go here and instead of doing this let me simply if 9 and run this one so you will get 512 so this means that this expression is being evaluated or calculated or executed from right to left remember it will be executed from right to left instead of left to right so only this exponent and the assignment operators they will be executed from right to left and rest all will be executed from left to right thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial